Canberra is the only place in the world where this is happening. Drone delivery has been a dream for years. But in Australia's capital, the futures become a reality. That drone's on a mission. In its grasp is a package containing a hot coffee. And on its GPS is an address of an undercaffeinated customer. Oh, look, I'm surprised that it's possible. To be frank, it's bloody ridiculous that you can order a coffee and have it in three minutes. In Beniathan, a suburb of Australia's capital, Canberra, Alphabet's wing is conducting one of the most advanced drone delivery tests yet. I hope that we're able to build, test, and show a service that both makes roads safer by taking vehicles off of the roads and also reduces emissions. Tech companies worldwide have been interested in the idea of drone delivery for years now. Amazon did its first drop in 2016 in rural England. Chinese online retailer JD.com has delivered packages in rural China. But Wing's 25 drones in Canberra are pushing into new territory, delivering hot meals and hot coffee that need to be in customers' hands within minutes. In going into this trial with Google, we are confident that we can have our product in the customer's hand in the original quality. Paul Davis owns Kickstart Espresso. And yes, that's spelled with an X. To date, Kickstart has specialized in drive through coffee. Now he's partnered with Google to test delivery via drone. The drone coffees haven't turned a profit yet, but the shop is counting on future potential of the technology. And Kickstart Espresso does have drone regulars. We usually get breakfast and we've gotten, when I've had um, work at night time, in the afternoon we've gotten dinner. Felicity Dalzell and her partner, Catherine Strickland, are among the autonomous drone program's first users. And they're hooked. With a young family and young kids, for me to just go and get a coffee to load three children in the car is really hard. <laughs> Ordering is done in an app, where users can peruse menus from both Kickstart and a Mexican restaurant that's also partnering with Wing for the test. The vendors receive, prep, and pack the order. Then it's sent off to the address the user inputs. Users even select the package's drop zone. The worst spill I've had from a coffee is a little bit of drops on the top of your coffee cup. The drones fly by themselves. No human controls them. They follow GPS coordinates. In the about 2,000 flights Wing has conducted to consumers, five flights were forced to land early. For the test, Australia's aviation regulator granted the company an exemption from the current drone rules. A spokesman for the regulator said, no crashes or malfunctions have been reported so far. But safety isn't the biggest concern. It's like an F1 Formula racing car. It's absolutely irritating. Jane Gillespie is a local resident and a member of a group called Beniathan Against Drones, or BAD. She, like others in the group, felt like the drones started operating without warning. And on the weekends, she says the noise is the worst. She can hear them flying starting at 8 a.m. It's this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Bolden Johnson says part of the issue is the noise that the drone makes is a new noise that human ears aren't used to hearing at this point. He added the company has already taken steps to quiet the drones, but Wing declined to let us film the less noisy propellers they're developing. The noise is the number one issue at the moment, but if it's quieter, um, it doesn't get away with the privacy, the intrusiveness, the, the safety. Nev Sheether leads the BAD community group. He and others are also concerned about the camera aboard the drone, what it's recording, and where the data is being sent or stored. Our drones are taking a very low resolution um, photo only for navigational purposes on the bottom camera that is not seen in real time by anyone. It's equivalent to an airplane's black box. It's only used for debugging if there's an issue. 
I don't think we can probably address our concerns. I mean, they'd have to stop flying drones, um, which they don't want to do. In November, the group delivered a petition to the local parliament with more than a thousand signatures calling on lawmakers to block future household drone delivery in Canberra. But Wing is planning to do quite the opposite. In the new year, the company plans to move its operations to a permanent facility just north of Canberra and scale up the delivery services. It will also begin testing delivery in Finland in the spring. I think in five years this is going to be everywhere.